happening, my lovely, wonderful people? Femi Falana damn plays what is going on. Says Nigerians should not mind them. They know how they operate. Don't be deceived. A time has come where Nigerians should not allow any of these people or these persons to determine or decide what happens to us. If you look at them and you are not careful, you will be surprised who these people truly are. He said one of the things you must know is that most of them, they are already, okay, they're already doing things that suit them and suit them alone. Okay, he said, listen, everything they are trying to post to you, it is their own work. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Don't be deceived. They are in alliance. Femi Falana, downplay impact of PDP, other opposition parties. Say, don't let them deceive you. Renowned human rights lawyer Femi Falana has downplayed the impact of the People's Democratic Party and other opposition at the National Assembly, suggesting that they, are, they have abandoned their opposition rule and are now in alliance with the All Progressive Congress. Tinubu government is doing them well. After all, every one of them is getting 160 million Naira car. So how will they be able to question his own? You see, the president is very smart. He gave them the ass first, and then he can ask for 6 billion for his cars, 6 billion for the first lady, a yacht, and nobody can speak. Because he has satisfied them. They are all, all the opposition governments are now all in agreement, in alliance with APC, making the assertion while speaking on Channel's TV Sunrise Daily on Friday. Fallon has suggested that the few discord voices at the floor of the National Assembly has come from members of the ruling party. Today, ideology is gone in the National Assembly. So they are all in alliance. And that is why, in fact, the few distinguished voices from the Senate have come from the ruling party, not even opposition. Femi Falana has said, the Senate, ad the Senate advocate further faulted the decision of President Bola Metinubu to appoint peasant individuals as resident electoral commissioner of the Independent National Electoral Commission. How can you pick your party members to be INEC workers? Falana, who was who has also faulted the National Assembly for associating with the appointment of individuals who are card carrying members of their own political party, said that the rule of residential electoral commission is supposed to be through through open for appointment and they go through the process and then appointed. Recall that the Nigerian Senate on Wednesday confirmed the appointment of 10 nominees and submitted to the president Bola Metinobo, they are members. So my lovely, wonderful people, it says that um, the Senate on Wednesday confirmed 10 nominees appoint, uh, submitted by president Bola Metinobo for the position of residential electoral commissioners. However, both the Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project Syrup and PDP have instigated a lawsuit against the appointment. It is against Nigerian constitution and law for you to make your own people INEC representative. No other person will, 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 will get, will make a headway in, you know, in, in, in whatever is going on now. So Femi Fallon has said, don't be deceived. Those in the house who should oppose, I mean, these people were brought to the house and it was appointed that the house approved it. The opposition voices should have spoken out. What did they do? They refused to speak out. The opposition voices did not speak out. So who, who is to be blamed? Who exactly do you want to blame? There is no opposition voice in the Senate. There is no opposition voice. Whether PDP, the Labour Party, or any other party that may be there, they are not speaking. They've come there. They are now together. They've all sat together, and they are all now making, they are all now enjoying from the dividends of their wealth that they have done. And nobody's saying this is not right. This is what the law says. These are the things we should put in place. This is what the right thing should be. Every one of them now are opposing the very good that should have been. This is what is happening. And so nobody is speaking out. It is terrible. It is not acceptable. But this is what is happening. You know, Femi Falana says nobody should allow you. Don't allow yourself to be deceived. Whether APC, PDP, Labour Party, that they all go to the house. The noble have taken care of them. They are all very happy. Every one of them are very happy. They are very happy with the president. And so there is no opposition voice. 
Chinubu came and appointed the uh, APC members as, uh, you know, uh, INEC reps. And get what? No opposition voice spoke. Think about it. You just think about it. PDP is supposed to oppose and say, no, this thing is wrong. It's not acceptable. What Tinubu has done is not acceptable. But guess what? Nobody spoke. Everybody continued with business as usual, as if all is well. So Femi Falana is asking, why is everybody quiet? Because the whole opposition force have become one. Everybody is now one. You know, Tinubu has done them well. They are all very happy. Everyone is, you know, is doing very well. Everyone is going on and, you know, so don't get it twisted. Don't think that uh, there is any opposition voice in the house. There is nobody who is speaking for the Nigerian people or the Nigerian masses or the voice of the people. All they are talking about or all they are saying is for themselves. So please get it straight, get it once and for all, settled, truth, you know, put it out there. There is no opposition voice in the house. How true, very true. Very, very true, you know. So today's Senate is, is totally whacked. You know, House of Rep is totally whacked because every one of them are benefiting greatly. So nobody wants to speak. Everybody is very happy. Speak so that they will throw you out and they will use, you know, the courts to tell you that it was not you. You know, it was the other person. You did not, uh, you, you use court to tell you that uh, you were not appointed and they'll bring in another party person. So everybody's just maintaining their own, maintaining, you know, themselves quiet and pretending like all is well this is what the apc government have turned nigeria into how can you appoint your card carry members to become INEC rep and nobody's saying anything the whole country everywhere is quiet what extent so very soon now will they begin to pick say okay if your household is more than five we take one of the children to become a slave and master is that when nigerians will speak at what point will nigerians speak and when will our voices be heard? When exactly? So these are the very difficult times that we are in, that we are living in today. And we all have to, you know, face it and speak out so that all of this can come to an end. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Remember, you have a voice. And so we all must speak up together and end every atrocity going on. Both PDP, uh, Labour Party, or every one of them, everybody is just looking out for themselves. Nobody cares about the people. Nobody cares about Nigerians. And it is terrible. It is sad, you know, that these things have begun to take place the way they are. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. And from us, it's bye for now. Bye-bye.